Today we have three golfers, three different skill levels, one on the Canadian Tour, one played mini tours, now a YouTube golfer, and a true YouTube golfer. Let's get right into it. Wait, 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 yeah. Hey, right, right. <laughs> yeah. Wait a minute. There's no way. It, it, it didn't go on the hole. Check the hole. Oh my God. We're back with the final episode of Brad and I's series. I guess that we're kind of doing here in Texas stroke play. I'm three over overall. Going to the back nine of the final round. Brad is four under. Five under. And uh, we have a surprise guest joining us today. Coming out. Yep. Chase Sinkevich, he's been on the channel before. He's a Canadian Tour uh, professional golfer, and I've done a match against him multiple times on the channel. Absolutely got wrecked. Since Chase is joining on the back nine, thankfully I just shot two under on the front. Brad shot one under on the front, which means that's what we're gonna start at going into this back nine. Chase obviously being the best golfer, gonna start at even par. Hole 10 out here, the Fazio course, Stonebriar, par three, into the win. Uh, any words before we start? Feeling good? Uh, I'm ready, let's do it. Yep. Let's do it, let's get it. All right. First hole, hole 10, 190, and a five iron back into the wind. I'm actually kind of excited to see the uh, the difference between their drives. Brad's been absolutely killing it, and Chase bombs it. So I'm curious to see who out drives too. I think Chase got Brad today. That's what I'm gonna say. Okay, we'll see. Hey, such a good swing out. That was it, Brad. What the f what was Sorry, that? Brad. <laughs> That thing just didn't, the wind just didn't touch it. What? That was such a good swing, what? No. I don't know, I think Garrett's was just so, I think it's so low, the wind didn't touch it. I think it's downwind. Nope, that's me trying to take a little bit off of it, just quit on it like a ding it. Carry the bunker. I'm carrying <clears throat> Just a hundred foot putt, that's no big deal. Every time I freaking try to hit it easy, I hit it right. Good. All right, I got seven iron. Let's try to hit it somewhere in there. What was your uh, best finish? On, no, that's there. That's crazy. What was your best finish on Canadian Tour this year? Uh, I got a fourth and a eighth. So those are my two best finishes. Haven't pulled one off yet. Been in, been in contention to get them out, yeah. but just haven't finished it off. But that, feels that was sick. yeah. I'm excited for this year, playing a full season instead of just playing right out of college. So I'm kind of like felt the ropes out and go for it now. Yeah. Yeah. So now on to Latin America. Latin yeah. America first ones in Mex two in Mexico. So it'd be yeah. kind of fun. Yeah. Oh, that'd be sick. Holy long putt. I'm gonna, I feel like I'm gonna make this. I can already just tell you that right now. I feel like I'm probably gonna make bogey. That's what Hogs would say. <laughs> I mean, look at that. I'm shocked you got a seven iron there. You could have probably got seven iron there. Yeah. I, I'm a little bit upset. No, okay. no upsetness today. No. So I'm gonna land it right at the top of the hill is the goal. It should roll down through this rough. It's so dried out. It shouldn't have a problem getting to the hole. The thing is you don't want to be long. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> come on. I told you, I come out and the lights come on. <laughs> you can do that 20 more times, you wouldn't I would put it that close. I never hit that shot again, ever. I got that so lucky. I have a, I mean, almost the longest butt you can have on the screen. Up and over a little tier. It's gonna be slow as balls. Got like 65, 70 feet. Trying to get this thing close to the hole in two pot. I did tell Garrett on the way up here that I felt like I was gonna make this, so. So slow. I thought I hammered that. Got about 20, 25 feet uphill to the left. Saw Brad snap, so I'm gonna probably play it a little extra. Greens look a little furry. Coming straight from the car. Let's let's point that one out. <laughs> Break. What? Wow. It didn't move. I'll take it though. Not as cool as yours. I'm shocked that didn't move at all after seeing Brad's. That's Kind of crazy, actually. Six feet, breaking just a little bit to the right. Let's make this get two putt. Yeah, Not an easy slider there. Not an easy par three today, back into the wind. That's what I've noticed, Brad and I have sucked with the into the off the left. The off the left winds this week. A lot of the winds, I'm just hitting it bad with my irons. Yeah, I feel that too. I thought we were being positive today. Oh, I am. I'm positive that I've sucked with my irons lately. And that's okay, that's all right. We'll figure it out. It's not the end of the world. 
All right, driver into the wind. With this wind, it's probably just going right over the bunker. Usually we can take it further right. But have you ever driven this green? I have when it's straight downwind. I yeah. think it's like 350, but if it's downwind, it's playing, probably playing 330. But gotcha. today we're just going over that bunker. I like that. I always hit a cut with the driver, so like with this wind, it might just go straight, hopefully, because the cut against the wind will turn it over. So good. That'll play. I'll be going left to the bunker. I'm gonna try to go over it. Test it out on the first first driver here. I think he's gonna get you on this one. You hit it hard? Yeah, I hit it pretty hard. My goal is to get Brad to overswing today. That was hit really hard. So I gotta make bit, but... I gotta make eight strokes back. I can see it land. I think it's fine. Yeah. Alright, driver in. No way. Wow. <laughs> Big man. This drive actually went through the fairway here in these trees, but I got very lucky. This tree is close enough to me, I don't have to deal with it. And that tree right there is not my way. So 122 yards, good lie, 50 degree back into the wind. Trying to keep this to the left of it. Looks like there's a big bowl on the left side, so it might kick down right. Came down a little bit to the right, but I think it got like 15 feet for birdie, so I'll take that. All right, we got 105 into the wind. I'm gonna play it like 115, just cause I think it's gonna spin and get up into the air off this flyer fairways. Brad looked like he hit a really good one there. So I'm just gonna follow his ball, probably like pin high left of it. Wow. Four left. Ooh. <laughs> that was awful. 112 here. 56 degree in hand. Should be a full, full 656. Yeah, why am I so scared of the water, huh? Barely got inside you. Brad was in the worst spot and he's in the best spot now. So we got about 100 feet from 100 yards out. <laughs> uh, downhill, breaking hard left. Just watch the pace and see how good these greens are rolling. Good roll, good roll. This has to snap left. If it doesn't, you know what? Don't know what to tell you guys. Do you know an angel or do you know if you were to Whoa, 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 you gotta chill, dog. You gotta chill. Come on, chill out. Okay. It actually did snap that much. Well, I hit a pretty good shot in here. I got like 20 feet. I thought it was a little more pin high, but it's a little past. Uh, it's breaking hard right to left, though. See if I can hit how I want it and uh, see if you can fall in for a birdie. Get 200. Thank you. Two under. Let's see if I can get on wow. fire this back nine. Make a round out of it. Hey, that that didn't that, count as a short putt. That was outside of the range. That was outside of my range is five feet and in. Yeah, that was more mid range. Yeah. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, nice. Thank you. Good three. So Chase is still at even par. Me and Garrett are now at two under par. I made a bogey there. You did, yeah. Uh, Gears one under. I'm two under. <laughs> Got the lead. This is an easy hole if you hit the fairway, but aren't all golf holes fairly easy if you hit the fairway? It's kind of similar to that one par five we played. I'm gonna aim out right, just hit a little high draw. That's a high draw. Is that considered a high up? No, no. Because that was at least close to my target line. That was just a cut that was supposed to be a draw. Better miss over there though than missing left, I will say. Yep. Could be in the fairway. <laughs> Honestly, not a bad play. Yep. Hmm. It's this far play on this hole, to be honest. Yeah. That's killed. That is hammer. <laughs> the ball. Nice little flare job for me there. That's all right. Not exactly what you want to see, especially after the three foot bogey. This is literally like blind shot again, same distance. No, where, where were you last time? What the? This dude is climbing on top of the cart. Is that Christopher Columbus? 
three iron from 247. Just a nice draw. Put myself in a decent spot. A little chunky. That'll be alright though. Not too upset about it. That's probably a bunker up there. But we'll see. I got 200 yards. I have no idea where this pin is. Garrett says right under the tree. I feel like it might be a little left of that. Kind of taking a guess. I got six iron. So let's just hit it at a target and hope it's the right one. Right one. Oh, it worked. That was crazy. It's right for sure. Got about 96. Got to keep it under this tree. I'm gonna hit a six iron because I think it's a little into. Oh, get right, maybe. Yeah, get right. Here. Get right, big time. Sure. Yeah, you're fine though. I'll take it. After my ball clipped that tree, it ended up short right here. Pretty short sided, but it's back into the wind. And this grass over here looks actually pretty nippy. So I'm gonna try to hit a little, uh, little high nipper here. Do it. Do it. Do it. Brad. 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 Matt. Wow! Uh, that's like the fourth hole out on your channel. Bro, is that chip? Fifth, actually, that chip in at Twin Creeks. Oh my Got gosh. That. That's unreal. Let's go! That's an eagle. Gets me a four under. You don't understand how hard that shot was, too. <laughs> Off that line, that thing nipped and... Good shot, dude. Thank you, thank you. I really wanted to do two in a row. It's like getting over that, I was like, yes, this needs to go in. It's not crazy at this point. It's like, oh, it's so stupid. Like, that's so normal now. I'm averaging like almost one for, per video, I feel like. <laughs> yeah. At this point. These guys are really good. <laughs> All right. Here. Yeah. All right, we got a three and a four. We got about a 25 footer just to match Brad's hole out. That's good. Yeah. You funny how all the hole outs have been like from. 20 to like 60 yards too. Those are like pitch ins and like full, almost full wedges. Yeah. That's stupid. That's not normal, that but it feels normal. normal. <laughs> People on the tour are like, Jordan Spieth probably hasn't holed out that many times in the last year. That one knew, I knew, I couldn't really see it. I like ran to the side to see it go in finally. Yeah. But like I knew when it landed and kind of when it hopped, I was like, that's gonna have a nice. Cause I didn't have spin on it. You're like, yeah, it's gonna roll in like a putt. I was like, I know it's gonna have a chance at least. It's gonna be close. It, I, I wanna, it makes me wanna just go to a chipping green and like hit chip shots and hit shots for a year. Hey, I think I'm gonna break 87. I think so. Well, get ahead of yourself yeah, now. Yeah, still got six holes left, that's true. Number uh, 13, I think. Yeah, 13. yeah, 13, par four. Dead straight, it's like 430. The wind is a little bit into off the right. Sit one just left of that very bunker. Well. Thank you. Hit that one good. That one's probably the best feeling drive of the day so far, so. Maybe, maybe some more birdies in the future, hopefully. That was better. Did that feel good or yes. that feel weird? Felt so good. That was amazing stuff. I'll probably be within 40 of your drive on that one. Speed. Okay. Full draw. Oh, I don't know. I think you got it. I think I might have got you. Uh, well, no, I got you, but barely. Yeah, I like might have got a you. couple yards. Let's see. I got you by it. Probably got you back a couple yards. Oh, I landed in the freaking soft spot, of course. You. Listen to all of his excuses. I landed in the soft spot. I did. I did. I landed in the soft spot. You're right, actually. No, you got drove me. You're, you, you just are, you're bigger than me. Look, bigger at all, than me. look at those biceps in comparison to Brad's. Just a little bit different. All right, 116. Can I go 56 degree here? It's nice and full. Just need to be a confident swing on this one. I want to see one fly at the pin. That's what I really want to see. Go. No. Okay, it didn't really spin, which is fine, but uh, I need a little bit more club. It's a good swing. Good swing. Good positive feedback. 118, gap wedge, hit a little flight at three quarter shot. See if I can scare the hole. Sit. Simmer. Simmer down. Simmer down, biscuit. 
All right. I thought that was flying a little further. I should sleep in high, so good look for birdie. 60 yards left on purpose because I like angles. I wish I could really say that, but we got 118 up the hill into the wind. The pin is way in the back from this angle, so ultimately you don't want to hit it over. So I'm hitting a, like a 115 shot. All right, mine was a bit short here. I'm gonna make this putt though. I've already kind of made that decision in my mind. Not much else to it up the hill. Yeah, I did straighten out at the end. Yep, yep, thanks. All right, got a good look here. About 18, 20 feet up the hill, breaking right. Might actually break pretty good at the end once it slows down, so that's gonna be very slow. Gosh, that just snaps off. Er, couldn't get myself to play it high enough. I already got about 15 feet downhill, breaking hard right. Should be a little slippery, so just be careful with the speed. Just try to drip it in at like 8 o'clock. Oh, no. Garrett, you're straightened out here, right? Yeah, straightened out. Yep, nice. Good par, on to the next. Four under, two under, one under. Brad's, he's having himself around. He, he's doing well, he's, he's three under on this side, so we gotta try and catch him. 420, par four, water right. I think we're all hitting drivers, downwind, so we can actually probably get down there pretty far, but it narrows up a lot. But I think we're all kind of saying screw it. Go, go ahead. I wanna go oh. down the other fairway. Smart. It's actually good over there. and came back. No. Real talk. <laughs> they call me the luckiest golfer. All right, we're going right over those bunkers and just let it fade off. Oh, what kind of not soft pitch is that? Is that? We'll see. It's my lucky day. Look at your second one too. <laughs> Yo, my second one. I hit a practice ball, my second one's a foot in, my first one's like six feet in. Lucky day, lucky day. Happy days, happy days, Mike. I've had some lucky breaks before, but I think this is number one for most lucky. It is in the middle of going in a flop. I mean, yeah. Had to hit up one of those flat ones. That's what I was thinking. It like probably literally hit off this one right here. <laughs> and it had to have hit off it pretty hard to get all the way back there. Can't complain, but I feel like I shouldn't be hitting my second shot, you know? Thought I needed to sit, needed to go a little bit. Got a long putt again. So I hit driver, straight into the water. Uh, it's just the wrong club, but we're here to have fun, so why not? So now we got hitting three, 77 yards. I hit my 60, 100 yards, so it's a 77% shot. Landed about 75 and just let it spin a little right because of the wind. Get up. Go. A little short, but we can make that. I got 78 yards here in the fairway. My ball lands up there somewhere and kick down right. I'm gonna try to hit a little low one, a little skipper back to that pin placement. See if I can hit it close. Let's just hit this to tap in range. That's not far enough. Ah, uh, not skippy enough and didn't land it far enough. All right, I'm gonna make that putt. I, it's so uphill right here before this pin. I should have just tried to land it closer to the pin. Back in the grain, I knew it wasn't gonna really hop at all, so. Not the best decision there, but I got like 20 feet up the hill, breaking slightly left. Let's just take a putt and see if it goes in. The ball. That was tracking. I want to say my putt has to go right, especially because the water and the slope and the grain, but I don't know. So slow up that hill. <laughs> Into that grain, you have to steal it. I thought I hit mine plenty hard and did I. I got about nine feet up the hill just to save par. This has got to go in to stay two back of Brad. I always underread this putt, so I'm going to play a little extra. Yank it in. 
Bank City. Even for Chase, two for me, four for Brad. 167 back into the wind. Brad's got a six iron, I believe. Eight iron? Just kidding. Brad's got an eight iron. I got a seven iron. So penetratingly good and it might actually go in. Go. Go. So good. Yeah. Nice. Well, I didn't see a bounce. I'm guessing it just kind of stuck on the green. So hopefully that pin's way up front. That's close. I got a seven iron here. Still working on the swing chain. I got eight, so a 180 shot. Should blow it a little right. So I'm gonna go probably, hopefully, pin high left a bit. Let it fade over. That's deep right there. Sorry. She's oh. on. I don't see a ball. I don't see a ball. Nah, that, nah, that'd be crazy. Wait. No way. Hold on. Hold on. Is that in the bunker? I have no idea. Wait a minute. Wait, wait, hey, Ryder, Ryder. <laughs> Mel, wait a minute. Mel, I'm bringing a wedge into putter because I fully expect this ball to be in the bunker, probably plugged in the lip. That's why we didn't see a ball. There's no way. It, it, it didn't go on the hole. Check the hole. Check the hole. Okay. You. Oh. What the. <laughs> yeah, that's not. Oh. Yeah, I, I, had to I, did not, I did not see it going in the bunker. Huh. And not only is it in the bunker, it's plugged in the bunker. That's about the biggest 180. I've ever felt. My heart is racing right now. <laughs> I honestly, I was like, there's a, there's a chance. I thought it was weird we didn't see a hop, but everyone was just kind of like, it got over the bunkers, and I couldn't really tell, so I was just kind of assuming it did. Oh, oh that's disheartening. Now I'm probably gonna make a bogey. <laughs> what a turn of events. Yeah. Oh, I made a one, about to make a five. Right to left off the jump, and it should kind of wiggle right. Ah. Oh, great spot. Nice. Chill golf today for me. Nothing special. Give it to him. Uh, that's good. That's wrong. I just showed Garrett my hand. I'm still like shaking a little bit just from the. I thought when I didn't see a ball on the green, I thought for sure it carried the bunker. I was like, this, that's it. And I ruined his moment by checking the bunker first. <laughs> Brad's like, you! Wow. Thank you. What a bogey. That was, that was a roller coaster of a hole. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> roller coaster of emotions, but two under, three under, chase is even, three holes left. 295, par four, very gettable today. In fact, I'm hitting three wood. Downwind, so is Brad. Chase hitting two iron or three iron. That's stupid. We did read the green up there as we were driving by the hole, so. Needs to draw hair. No, that just catches the piece and it's so good. Oh, all right, all right, sweet. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. Good shot. Long? Yeah. That was the line. That was the line. Oh, that was the line. It was gonna, it was breaking back, wasn't yeah. it? Brad's face and forehead is getting so red. <laughs> I know. That's Good what he at, wants. I need it to be. No, I can't really see the line as much anymore, like at all. Yeah. Two iron's plenty for you. Yeah, I got two iron. Hopefully same line as Garrett. I might need to sit. Yeah, that's, that's as hard as I can hit it. Great shot. No, that the long. Over the green? Long, yeah. long. That's crazy. That's fine. Thank you. After seeing those two, I'm gonna hit three just so it gets up in the air a little bit more and hopefully stops on the dime. Just hit a high draw right in the middle of the green. If it overdraws, great. If not, all good. It's here. Ah, uh, small draw goes small cut. Kick straight left. Yeah, that was not bad. bad. All right, there's some mowers going on back there, but I'm long on this down slope. Might be able to hit a little nippy shot, so I'm gonna try a little nipper. See, maybe make another one. Why not? I'm, I, who knows? Oh. 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 Three iron went just over the green. I'll take it, honestly. 
A uh, little uphill chip, going right to left. Try to give it a look, but nothing too crazy. This pin's on a slope, so. Five feet here from my birdie, he's breaking a little left. I pulled that one, but take it, it went in. Four under, three under, one under, two holes remain, par four, par five, cool. See that telephone pole? Probably like 10 yards right of that is perfect. I want to try and really get the extension going. That was sick, Brad. It was. That's what I need. I'm just swinging hard as I can at the green. Saying screw it. It's downwind. No. No. Is there grass over there? Doesn't look like it. Gosh, those hit so hard. 335 pin. Just try to land it on the number and just hit a good one. Yeah. Safe play. That's the boring play, but it's fine. I always play boring on this channel. <laughs> Nothing fun. Take my drop. 128 yards downwind. Got 56, 56 degrees. Sorry, I booed my mouth. Wait. Hopefully, hit a close big par. How you feel about it? Good. Go. Whoa. Go. Wow. Where is it? I think it's barely on top of the bunker. A little right to left. Down breeze. I got a 56. It should run out. Not, I'm not going for a spinner here. Kind of get a little aggressive with it. Don't mind it though, right idea. I got a 56, <clears throat> same thing as Garrett there, and just running it up the hill a little to the left. Uh, just try to cozy it up there, maybe it drops. Yeah. Oh, misread of the century. Wow, that went right. Not a great wedge shot there. Wind just didn't quite carry it like I thought it would, but that's all right. Pretty easy up and down. Took the pin out. See if I can make this for my par. Whoa, big hop. Whoa there, Skippy. That took a way bigger first hop than I thought it would. Thought it was gonna be kind of soft, but. Butter. What a pot. Butter. What a pot. Woo! Gets it to four under. Five, six feet here for my paw or for my bogey. Let's make this. Stay at three under. Putting much better today than I have the last week or so. So that feels nice. Well, on to the last. It's. I mean, everyone's in, everyone's kind of in this. On to the final hole. Like I said, everyone's kind of in this. It's par five downwind. So. Eagles are in play, pars, birdies, whatever, you name it. I want to finish strong. I want to make at least a birdie and, and get my overall score for the four rounds to even par. That would make me feel very good. Can aim just left edge of that bunker. Try and really get a hold of this one. Kind of like the last drive. Sounds so British there. Uh, I'm trying to troll this one. <laughs> trying to troll this one, man. Eye on the face. It's gonna run though. Good job, feeling. Uh, It'll be fine. You're both right next to each other. Really? Yeah. We'll see who's longer. 185. I got a seven iron low key too much. I feel like it's not really low key. It's just too much, you think? I think so. Right, I'm gonna launch an eight iron. Button. It looks like it's going on. All right. 
probably a 35, 40 footer for Eagle. Long drive champion. Right here. Right next to me. Good job, Brad. Thank got you. Him. Got you by a literal. <laughs> the T box is that way. I got you by less than a foot. <laughs> Love that. I got 86 downwind, 186. I think it's playing uphill, but then this flyer line, it's warm out. I think I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna hit a full nine, like a 75 shot. Good swing. The wind got it a little bit, but it should be the right number. Nope, it's short. Short? Is it on the green? Short. Sure. Maybe I'm gonna try to start a little right and just hit a little draw with the wind. Maybe get the carry a little further. Great shot. Yeah, just inside of me. Yeah. My 9 iron flew about 170 instead of 190. So now we got about 70 feet. They're in there. They both got looks, but unlikely. So we'll just give it a run. Good read. <laughs> Go in. I really wanted to make that to get it to red digits for the overall 72 holes, but that's even par <laughs> on the 72 holes. 300 for the day, so I'm 700 total, correct? All right, well, I have this to tie Garrett on the side or for the round, I guess, for the whole 18 hole round, but I've got the whole 72 hole thing clinched up. I mean, hit it a little harder and it might have a freaking chance. Holy zoom zoom off the face, <laughs> that's terrible. Not the best first putts for me and Brad. Got about seven feet for four to go 300 for the side. That's just me it. Back of the cup, straight up. I would play. Very nice. Good putt. Good very, I would weigh rather a five under where you have like. 300 in the last three? Four bogey. There you go. Golf. Six, seven footer for my birdie to shoot four under on the day and to shoot eight under for the total 72 holes. Shout out to Chase for coming on the channel today. Shout out to Stonebriar for having us out. Shout out to that 72 holes. Shout out to Brad for joining that. What'd you end up shooting overall? Eight under. For you the made that putt, right? Yep. I yeah. was shooting 400 today, eight under something. So 400 today, 500 for me today, which surprisingly, like I was telling Brad, I had no clue I even shot 500. It was like the most low key, lousy 500 ever. I think that happened to be my best round on camera in a long time. Uh, 67? 67. That's my best round on camera in probably a year. And I don't even, I didn't even know you it. You didn't look like you shot 500. Not at all, not at all. Yeah, hope you guys enjoyed that video. Stay tuned for more content. Till next time. Peace.